So hi guys, welcome back to our video again. So after two days of riding, we noticed there's some interesting things with the gear positioning sensor. Here you will see the neutral light and the zero key on. If the bike is on its uh, side stand, so if you leave it up, we engage gear one. Okay, we cannot find the neutral again. And uh, gear two is also missing. So this is a very interesting thing. We have read online that it's caused by the gear positioning sensor. So today we got to remove that item here and give it a wash. So the gear positioning sensor is located inside here. Uh, I think it's behind the front sprocket. It's quite complicated to open up. One, two, I think three, four, five bolt and this stick. And then I have to remove this, which is the clutch cable. So right now, no choice, we have to open it up, give it a thorough clean, and start. So before we remove this, we just place a sticker here, just to mark out where this gap is. If not, if you do it wrongly, then you will also mess with this position. If you need an adjustment later on, then it's fine. Okay, just take this out. If you felt that your gear lever is uh, a bit off, you can adjust this by positioning it later on. Okay, 8mm is the one to go. Okay, so this is the speed sensor. I don't think we need to remove, we'll see how. Okay, hopefully we don't need to remove this also, we will see how it goes. Uh, we are trying to remove as little item as possible. So we are trying to avoid putting many, many small items back later on. Okay, so you can see that all the screws are different. So we just uh, arrange them accordingly to the orientation. This is the bottom. So we remove the cover and see how it goes. Hopefully, we can take it out. I think we need to remove this. Okay, at the end, we have to remove this, the speed sensor, in order to take out the cover. So now the cover is loose. You can see it's pretty dirty inside, so we will find a way to pry it open. So this is the item that we want to take out. This is the gear positioning sensor. And we probably have to clean this part up first. In order to fully take this cover out, you have to spin this bolt which is tight to the clutch cable to take out this part. Then you hook it off and then here you go. And then we have to wash this. It's pretty gummy inside. Okay, so we clean out this area. You can see it's cleaner now. And then we break open this sensor. Let's see what's inside here. Okay, we took it out. So you see a ring, O-ring, and then this, I think this is the sensor where you shift, it goes click 1, click 2, click 3, click 4, click 5, click 6, yep, then 1 again. So we will take this out and give it a clean. Okay, what we did here is just a use brake cleaner, and then... Great. So now we put back the O-ring and then uh, we look for this hole to be inserted by this pin and then we will put it back. So now we tighten it and give it a try. So we do a temporary setup and see. Temporary put back the cover. Now we want to hook the cable in. So uh, it will take two hands to do it. So we'll be right back. Okay, it's impossible to push this in by hand if you tighten all this. So we have turned and then push it in. Okay, because there's a pin inside here that pushes the the clutch gate and then in order to hook this back but definitely you need two hands okay we will be right back okay so we managed to pop it in by pushing this and then hooking it in okay you can see that the clutch is moving 
we roughly assemble everything. Everything is not tightened yet because we want to try it out again with the clutch. So let's see what will happen here. For one, neutral. Let's power it up and see how it goes. Okay, gear one. Neutral. Looks okay. Gear two. Gear three. Gear four. Gear five. Gear six. Three. Two. One. Okay, so now it all looks good. So good to go. So just tighten this back and call it a day. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you on the next one. Bye bye.